YouTube, what's going on? It's your favorite apologist, the atheist killer, back with a new video for you guys. Now, this video I'm about to do is called Age of the Earth is Not an Issue. So, it goes like this When atheists find out that I believe in God, a lot of them will immediately ask me about the age of the earth. They will ask if I'm a young earth creationist or if I believe the earth is 6,000 years old. But the fact is, the age of the earth is really a non-issue because it's not even an issue of salvation. Of course, it's an interesting topic and a very intriguing scientific discussion. But I feel that Christians do not need to get caught up in this particular debate because it's not going to matter either way. Meaning, if you accept and believe the earth is 6.5 billion years old, or you feel like the evidence points to the earth being less than 15,000 years old, it's not going to keep you out of heaven. So, that's kind of what this video is about. Alright, that's just a little introduction and now we're going to get into it. Alright, so look, me personally, I don't, I don't subscribe to a young earth or an old earth ideology. I feel that the verdict is still out on the matter. I absolutely love science. And there is in fact great evidence that the earth is in fact billions of years old. But there's also some pretty compelling evidence for the other side that shows the earth could in fact be very young. Obviously the Bible is the supreme authority and has not even one single contradiction because of course it's the word of God. But the problem is how do we interpret that first chapter of Genesis? Did God in fact mean that he created the earth in six literal days? Or did the days of creation stand for an undefined period of time? Even the word yom is actually highly debated in this context. And it's really impossible to know with 100% certainty what God actually meant right here. Another thing that needs to be taken into account is what is said in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 8. But do not forget this one thing, my dear friend. With the Lord, one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like one day. So that's very important to take into account. God is clearly not dealing with the same, or he's not clearly, he's clearly not dealing with time in the same way that we think of it here on earth. So does that mean that the six days of creation was actually 6,000 years because one day is like a thousand years? And then on top of that, you would have to add in the genealogy of the Bible to that. So that would take you to 12,000 years for the age of the earth. Or since the verse, I'm sorry, or since the verse says one day is like, it's like a thousand years, could that represent any number in the thousands? For example, 2,000, 5,000, 20,000, etc. We just do not know. We don't know. Another thing that you really have to throw into the mix is where God says let there be light in Genesis chapter 1 verses 3 because in verse 2 right before that it says the Spirit of God was hovering over the water and what we do not know is how long was he actually hovering over that water the scripture doesn't tell us the Bible doesn't tell us how long he was hovering over that water it could have been five minutes it could have been five days it could have been five thousand days it could have been any period of time. No one in fact knows or can be sure. What we do know is that an all-powerful God could have created the earth in a split nanosecond if he chose to. So what could possibly be the importance of saying there were six days of creation regardless of how long those days were? I believe it is a direct reflection of how long God wanted um, our work week to be. Work for six days and then rest on the seventh day. I believe God was clearly trying to show us how he wanted things to be done. All of this and more needs to be taken into serious consideration. But one must remember that the Bible is always the ultimate authority and has no flaws. However, since God does not provide us the exact date and time of creation, the age of the earth is still up for speculation. But one must remember, although it is a very interesting and important scientific discussion, the age of the earth is not. It is not a matter of salvation. Jesus Christ is the only way to get into heaven. So, continue to, 
continue your discussions about the age of the earth because I know that I will. But just remember, it's not an issue of salvation. So if any atheist tries to pin you down on this topic or wants to try to make you look dumb and say the Bible says this or that, just let them know the verdict is still out on this topic. And it's not an issue of salvation either way, since despite popular belief, the Bible does not. It does not tell us how old the earth is. God bless. I'll see y'all soon. The atheist killer. I'm out. Age of the earth. It's not an issue. Peace.